Good morning. It's Tuesday, May the 1st, and we welcome you to our Bible reading video for today. Uh, we will be reading from 2 Peter chapter number 2, so uh, please open your Bibles to 2 Peter chapter 2 if you have, have your Bible handy, or feel free to just listen today to the Word of God if you don't have a Bible close by. Um, pray for the reading of the Word of God, that God would bless that, and that uh, we'd get many shares on this video, and the reading of the Word would go forth today and touch many, many hearts. Uh, we are asking you to pray for us today at 11 o'clock as we go to Courtyards Senior Living in Johnson City uh, and have a service with the good folks there as we preach the gospel there every Tuesday morning at 11 o'clock. We're excited about the service today. Looking forward to uh, visiting with the folks at Courtyards Senior Living this morning. We have some uh, prayer requests that we want to mention before we read the Word of God. So. Uh, we're going to go over the prayer list here in just a moment. But first of all, let me say happy birthday to my mother today. Today is her birthday, and uh, we just want to wish you a happy birthday, Mom. I hope you have a great day, and uh, may the Lord give you many, many more. So happy birthday to our mother today. So if you see her or you feel like sending her a message on Facebook, uh, I'm sure she would appreciate that. We want to remember in prayer Mark Harrison, let's pray for Jay Bradley and his family. Still praying for Dwayne Childress and his family. Uh, Brother Michael Parker, let's lift him up in prayer today. We're praying for Ruth Height and her children. We're praying for Robert Etherton, Brenda Peake's family, Mitch Roberts' family, uh, Dreama Fields family, we received a update that Dreama has gone on to be with the Lord, so let's remember Dreama's family and Tammy Overby and her family. We're praying today for Lindy Baldwin, Donnie Watson, Tommy Cook and his family, James Osborne and his family, Lisa Crowder and her family. Let's remember Ruth Greer and her family today. We're praying for Billy Wayne Arrington. Judith Hoyt, Wanda Belcher, let's remember Vicki Fuller when we pray, Lisa Tallman, uh, Lakin with some pregnancy issues, let's remember Lakin, True Gospel Baptist Church, and Pastor Dean Presnell are on the prayer list today, let's remember Pastor Charles Neal's brother Kenneth, we want to pray for Kenneth today, also let's lift up Jean France, Tom Cockle Reese, the Broyles family, we're praying for baby Madeline. And let's remember Eric Smith this morning. We want to lift Eric up in prayer. Carolyn and Robbie Crosby down in South Carolina. Uh, Henry Klaus's family. Let's remember Jamie Lawson. Michael Paul Parker. Also, we're praying for Glenn Holman. And we got a message last night from Judy Sutherland asking us to pray for her family. God knows all about the situation there. So let's remember these folks when we pray, and let's pray most of all for the lost. I've got lost people in my family, and uh, the truth of the situation is, unless they repent, they're on their way to hell, and we don't want that. Uh, we want to declare to them the gospel of Jesus Christ, as the Bible commands us to do so, and we will lift them up in prayer for their salvation, that God would regenerate them, open their hearts, uh, to the gospel, and that they would repent and believe the gospel and trust Christ alone for their salvation. Amen. So help us pray for our lost family. Also, we want to request prayer for uh, Wednesday night service tomorrow night at Free Gift Gospel Mission. Brother Johnny Copas will be preaching, so let's uh, remember Brother Johnny when we pray. And also, we're sending out a special request right here and now. Uh, for Thursday, May the 3rd. As many of you may know, that is the National Day of Prayer, and the Free Gift Gospel Mission will have two services on this day. So, pastor friends, preacher friends, uh, please help us out here. Uh, help us to spread the word. Invite your churches to come out and be with us. Uh, two services on the National Day of Prayer. That's on Thursday. The first one will be at 10 o'clock in the morning. Good Lord willing, I'll be preaching there in that service. And uh, we will be running the church van. So if any of you uh, are watching this video and you would like to come out and worship with us, just let me know and we'll see to it that you get picked up. Also, the second service will take place at uh, 7 o'clock 
on Thursday, May the 3rd, and this will be a special benefit service for our uh, church building fund as we are in the process of trying to raise the money to build a fellowship hall that's much needed uh, at our church. So uh, we're asking for you to pray for us and to help us. Pastor friends, preacher friends, um, please um, help us spread the word about the service on Thursday night at seven o'clock. The Montgomery's will be there as our guest singers and Brother Earl Hulse will be the preacher in the seven o'clock service on Thursday, May the 3rd. Our church is easy to find. We are located downtown in Kingsport. 1025 Maple Street is the address. We're not too far from uh, Seaver's Donuts. Many of you know where that is. Uh, just go all the way down Dale toward the uh, end of Wilcox and then turn left there on Brook Street and you'll see the free gift gospel mission sitting right there on the corner of Maple and uh, Brook. So come on out and be with us. God bless you. Remember these services in prayer, and let's pray now and lift these needs up before God today, and then we'll read from Second Peter chapter 2. Father in heaven, we love you. Lord, I pray God for these needs. I pray God for these dear folks who are on the prayer list today. Uh, we thank you, God, for each child of God, each prayer warrior who listens to these videos, watches these videos faithfully, and uh, is persistent and consistent about lifting these needs up before you in prayer. We know, God, that that's a life that honors and glorifies Christ. And we pray, God, that uh, they'll continue to pray for these who are sick. We want to lift them all up in prayer today, Lord, that you'll touch their bodies. Uh, Lord, that uh, your healing would come down. We know, God, that you're able. We know, God, that you are the great physician. You are he risen who has risen with healing in your wings. And... As Isaiah said, and Peter echoed it in the New Testament, with your stripes we are healed. Lord, I pray, God, for uh, those who are facing oppression, those who are facing persecution. We pray, God, uh, for those who are facing uh, financial situations, various hardships and discouragements in their life. I pray, God, that you lift them up. Lord, may sin be repented of in our lives. May we ever humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God that you might exalt us and lift us up in due time. Lord, we pray, God, uh, for the service at 11 o'clock at Courtyards. We pray, God, for the service tomorrow night uh, at Free Gift with Brother Johnny Copas. And we pray for the two services coming up, Lord, uh, Thursday. We want you to be glorified by the proclamation of the gospel. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Meet these needs, God, as only you can. We ask it humbly and we'll praise you for it. In Christ's name, amen. All right, Kathy, good morning. Praying for the National Day of Prayer Service and Benefit Singing for God to make him, himself present in a mighty way. Thank you for that. We appreciate that comment there, Kathy. Uh, and we certainly appreciate your prayers. Okay. Second Peter chapter 2 in the Word of God. As we begin reading now in verse number one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example to those that after should live ungodly and delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. <laughs> For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. 
but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of indignities, whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing ac accusation against them before the Lord. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. And they shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they that count it pleasure to right in the daytime, Spots they are, and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery, and they cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, and heart they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children, which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray, follow, following the way of Balaam, the son of Bozer, who loved the wages of unrighteousness." but was rebuked for his iniquity. The dumb ass, speaking with man's voice, forbade the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. For if they, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them to have not known the way of righteousness than after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Amen. Okay, that is Second Peter chapter 2 in the word of God. We will conclude Second Peter tomorrow with chapter 3. God bless you, Brother Jay. I appreciate that comment. We appreciate you so much and your prayers. Remember, uh, National Day of Prayer coming up on Thursday. Two services at the Free Gift Gospel Mission, 10 o'clock in the morning and 7 o'clock at night. We invite you all to come and be with us. Help us out. God bless you. We love you. Please share this video, and we'll catch you tomorrow by the grace of God. Have a great day.